Okay, hello, my name is Radford West and today I'm going to be playing a game called The Unfinished Swan. This is a game that I've wanted to play for quite a while. I originally saw the trailer for it back when it launched on... It was a PlayStation exclusive back in 2012 and it's only recently come to Windows in a way that's allowed me to play it. So, excited to try it out. I love a swan, I love a goose, I love to drink an orange juice. Monroe's mother had always been much better at starting things than finishing them. When she died, she left behind over 300 canvases, not one of them finished. Along with Monroe, who felt pretty unfinished himself. The orphanage allowed him to keep only one painting. And so he chose the unfinished swan that had always been his mother's favorite. But that night, he woke up to find the swan had disappeared. So he took his mother's silver paintbrush and followed the footprints into a little door he hadn't seen before. <laughs> so yeah, this is the cover is the uh world is so invisible and we have to reveal it by splashing paint and so it's like again it's gonna get pretty easy to get turned around in completely oh, I can jump So the triggers, the bumpers, and huh. so yeah, the triggers and the bumpers are set to send out the paint, which means you can kind of rapid fire it a bit. Again, to reveal a bit more of the world. Oop, we have a bench. A fence. Oh, I think you can hear it sort of behind the fence and on the fence. Aha! We have some little look prints. Or well, swamp prints, I guess. Okay, so that's water. Paint doesn't splash into water, that makes sense. Oh, and you don't pay over the look, it's good. 
dost thou hear a honking? Yeah, I'm loving the effect of the paint here. How such a scene's like pop out of nowhere. Ah, um, this is why lights can't get onto either. I wonder if it's specifically glass you're not meant to paint onto. Oh. A crown. Hello. Mm -hmm. We've got all the scientists from Half-Life. Nose and eyes. Got like a wagon. I wonder if we're gonna need to solve puzzles. Yeah, I like the way they're using sort of colours to mark out waypoints and distance. Okay, so yeah, that's right, you can't get glass windows. This reminds me of um, the game The Blob, which came out on the Wii, I think a little bit afterwards, where your little sort of blob man who is made of paint and you're around painting a town. But I like this in sort of the sense of you're paintballing the town. As long as when you hit those gates, it sounds a bit like you've broken something that makes me a little worried. Like, I don't know who's going to tell me off in this magical painting realm of possible dreams, but someone will find a way. Oh, we just gone in a loop? No, we haven't. I don't think. A rooftop, yeah, it's making that kind of clinky titles noise. Ooh. The chicken is very much like a swan, not quite what we're looking for. Holding chicken drumstick, maybe? That's not good. This one might be in danger. Big, big up, big up. Little golden curly tail. Okay, I can't use that to jump up. Swan noises. Oh dear. Someone's gonna eat our swan. Okay, 
Okay, he's got some more cold stuff over here. Got some prints. I have this kingly symbol. Young, arrogant, and amazingly talented. He was convinced no color existed that was good enough for his garden, so he left it white. While he pondered how to create some new colors, his kingdom began attracting settlers, and soon he found himself with bigger problems. Okay, that's a neat way of doing things. <laughs> you just knock over some boxes. Ooh, balloon, rainbow. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> that word said that at the same time you could did. Part two, the watchtower. <laughs> 